Okay, this is my second time recording this. I have to be honest because I think this channel, I want to be all about being really authentic and honest. Um, I just recorded this once and I listened back to a bit of it and I realized how much I was saying like and um. And although my editing skills are really basic, so far because I'm very new to the YouTube life I just didn't want to go back and cut out loads of ums and likes but also it made me so embarrassed to hear how much I said it oh my god I'm gonna have to make a real effort um to not say like an um anyway um thank you for the views so far and the subscribers so far, it really means a lot to me. Um, I'm really new to this and I'm really enjoying it and I will continue doing it um, for the joy that I get out of it. Um, and I hope that you enjoy it too and like coming along with me to see, I don't know, I think Instagram is such an amazing platform and it's given me so much and I'm so grateful for all of it and the people that follow me on there and, and the opportunities it's brought. But I also feel like there's a side of it that because we're all constantly fighting the algorithm and um, fighting, trying to grow and gain followers and gain um, opportunities, I feel like it doesn't give you as much opportunity to be really authentic of course every there are so many authentic people on there and, and I hope that I am authentic too but I feel like people who follow me on Instagram don't know me super well um, and don't know kind of what I'm re really doing and what I'm like what oh my god I just said like <laughs> what I'm interested in and what I get up to and what I like doing and what I put on my skin. This is all stuff that I really enjoy watching other people do. Um, I said in the first video I made on here that I have been an avid consumer of YouTube, which is why I wanted to get onto it. But yeah, I just, I feel really relaxed about this channel, partly because it's growing something from scratch. So you don't have the pressure of loads of people watching, but also just being a little more yeah authentic and relaxed and kind of posting what i feel like posting and not worrying too much about it um so i guess that is that um i guess i wanted to make sure that i'm talking a, a bit on here um from time to time and again not making it such a highlight reel that instagram is which is amazing and i love it but um, I don't want it to just be, here's my weekend, here's what I did today. I wanted it to be me chatting to you if you're watching about what's going on in my head and open the conversation up to you being able to tell me what's going on in your head. Um, it is January the, what is the day? Is it January the 20th? Yeah, it's January the 20th when I'm recording this. Um, and... I had a couple of personal things happen in my life l last week, which I um, have not been good. But aside from that, January has been a really positive month, I think. And I feel like it's a really good time for me to have a proper reset because the rest of my year is inevitably so busy with events and growing, um, but particularly events which bring me everywhere like I don't get much time at home during the summer I feel really hibernating 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 at the moment and I'm just really enjoying that and trying not to put too much pressure on myself um I think my relationship with social media is so up and down and um I've been putting a lot of emphasis on really like trying to get content out there and I've been really enjoying that but I think sometimes it can make you too absorbed in it and you're constantly refreshing and constantly checking and um, I guess I want to like, ugh, like again, I want to step away from that a little bit um, and not step away from it but just make sure I'm not putting all my um, energy into something that is, is ultimately out of my control. 
um but i have lots of really exciting projects that have kind of come up in the last sort of 10 days that just make this year feel like a real step in the right direction um and i feel really lucky to be doing to be in a place where i am without sounding um without sounding i don't know but yeah just feel like a lot of the work that i've put in in the last few years is sort of coming into place um and yeah i mean i guess january for me is really about getting through it if i'm completely honest i find it really hard um i find the darkness really hard and i find the cold really hard hence why i'm wearing a beanie and also i've got a hot water bottle and also <laughs> i take the cover of the hot water bottle so that it like feels really really hot um anyway yeah i have to be warm um i yeah i don't do i don't do dry january at least i haven't done before um because i feel like i really need the things that make that bring little bits of joy into my life like a glass of wine here or there or a margarita um and i don't do any health resets um again because i feel like i need the um, I need just a bit of everything to really keep me happy. Um, that being said, I eat quite a balanced, healthy diet anyway, so I don't think there's much need for that when you feel like you're eating quite balanced anyway. Um, and yeah, um, I guess this is just a check-in because it's nice to chat and to... I don't know, maybe provide a little bit of entertainment while you're getting about going about your daily stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I've got, I live in a cottage which is about 10 minutes away from where my parents live in Wales. And some of my family are coming this weekend. Um, so I'm gonna film some bits. Um, some bits I won't because important to retain some privacy and not point the camera in my family's faces at all times um but yeah this is this will be the clips you see hopefully will just be a bit of an example of a quiet ish weekend at home for me um it is 4 30 right now i'm gonna finish off no it's four i'm gonna finish off some work i'm leaving for a yoga class with my sister at 4 45 um and then I'll take you through the rest. But yeah, thank you for being here, whoever is here, and uh, being along for the ride. Bring my own tequila. <laughs> morning um i just finished a 15 minute yoga um which was a short one because i did hot yoga last night um but my days are just better when i do any kind of yoga so try and do a little bit in the mornings um i haven't showered yet but i'm gonna make a smoothie and then meet my sisters and my niece for a coffee it's actually really good strong.
Um, as promised to myself, I've been quite bad <laughs> at filming for YouTube. Um, but I have just got back from a week in London and I'm back in Wales, feeling inspired to start the lengthy process of, well not the lengthy process, but just the kind of unpleasant process of being in the garden at this time of year. Um, and the first job is to get the greenhouse looking nice and tidy and ready for the growing season. So I'm gonna take you through some bits that I'm gonna to do today and hopefully it'll be of interest and I'll see you later. The first thing I'm gonna do is clean the glass of the greenhouse um, because when it gets dirty, it's just not very good <clears throat> for the plants. Um, it sounds weird, but a lot of the like pests and diseases that affect plants, especially tomato plants, can come from like um, my gloves. Um, yeah, c come from um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, can come from the glass bacteria, bacteria in the glass. Um, and since this is quite an old greenhouse, it needs a bit of refreshing every year. Some of the glass is kind of falling apart, but um, that's a bigger job for another time. Um, but yeah, today, the first job which I've been filling off for weeks is cleaning the glass. Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to do before I put it off any longer. <laughs> Washing up liquid from home and then got some sponges. So you can see that the glass is just quite dirty. Um, so I'm going to clean it up where possible. <clears throat> And luckily, I have some hot water to make this whole process a little bit more bearable. Also, just know I'm going to get really wet in this process. It's cold, but it's all good. This is how the glass is looking now. And I'll show you. So this is the other side that I haven't done yet. You can see it's got lots of this scuff, dirt, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's just a bit mucky. Um, you can see like there. So that will be a later in the week job. But yeah, happy to have got this far. Okay, I have um, a relatively short attention span, um, but which means I like to swap up my jobs quite regularly. But I have done half the greenhouse, um, and I'm really pleased. Also, I've got the wettest, dirtiest sleeves, but I'm really pleased with how it's looking so far. Um, Want to do another? I'd like done it with washing up liquid and then rinsed it and then I want to do another layer um, with like spray glass cleaner but yeah I'm pleased with it it's already looking so much better and it's crazy what a difference it makes to just the feeling of the greenhouse but um, 
I'm gonna plant some seeds, which um, is exciting because it feels really, really wintry still, but um, this makes it feel more like spring. So I've got two different types of aubergines and one type of pepper. Um, and I wouldn't usually, well, I wouldn't plant them in the greenhouse, but I'm lucky enough to have a heated bed in here um, because the these veg need like 20 to 30 degrees to germinate. So they wouldn't germinate if they were just in the normal greenhouse. Um, but I'm lucky enough to have a little heated bed. But if you wanted to get started this early, then you could bring the plants into your house and put them on a warm um, windowsill or something. But yeah, gonna do that. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of weeding and then I gotta go inside and get some work done in there. got some leeks from the garden to have my lunch about the only thing <laughs> that's still growing I am back in the greenhouse today um, cleaning I actually love this job um, I am sure I'm not the only one who loves like cleaning DIY jobs um, but I did that side yesterday and I'm doing this side today um, I'm doing <clears throat> like three rounds because I'm doing washing up liquid and then rinsing the washing up liquid and then I'm going back with glass cleaner. Um, the only thing that's kind of frustrating me is that I'm doing this section but the roof is equally as dirty and I just don't know how I'm going to access cleaning that. Um, I think I need to invest in some... Um, like window cleaning kit. Uh, but yeah, I could probably reach some of the panels, but I think the whole point of this is like the whole thing's clean. Um, anyway, it looks a bit nicer. Um, and then I've just been doing some weeding of the beds. My tomatoes will go in here. And then next week I will force myself outside into the patch. And I think like at the end of the summer season, it's often quite easy just to leave the veg in there um, and not deal with it as it gets colder. So at this time of year, there's always a bit of a mad rush for spring getting everything ready. But yeah, I will keep you updated.